Comes through first. Came on. Paul in probably dips his hand in a lot more competitive action than John Parr at the minute. Sixty. One hundred. Steady start to the match for Paul Lim. I mentioned that appearance at the World Championship just going. Lost out to Joe Mernon, bit of a scrap, but he always really competitive when it comes to the World Championship. Still got that urge as well to go in qualifiers. He qu went through qualifying heats for the World Cup team. He doesn't just get given that spot. Every year he goes through heats to get it. So, like I said, still got that real competitive side to him. Yeah, good point that, Mark. 49. Never a competitor, as is John Part. You don't become three-time world champion without being a supreme fighter. Won one 100. of his world titles here at the Lakeside. In fact, he's got the full set, hasn't he? Circus Tavern, Lakeside and Ali Pally. And in the run to the 1994 World Championship title, he did beat Paul Lim en route. He was dominant in that World Championship, John, wasn't he? Dominated the final. 95. The gentleman in our studio, Bobby George. Don't mind me reminding him, 6 0. John Park went on to have a cracking career, and he still believes his career is not done. Not just at senior level. 60. Well, the pair plugging away at the start of this opening match, a prelim. As we said, the winner to face. Phil Taylor later tonight, what a carrot that is. A reminder that it's just two legs to win a set. 123. Great effort from Paul Lim, just deflected in to the treble one. But first leg, John Parts throw is under pressure. 134. It's still a big ask for Paul Lim, but how's the setup from John Part? Really good last start. And you see that first start from John Part, that's how he likes. He likes to stack on top. So that was perfect live for the treble 19. Leaves him on a two data for leg one here. And he is going to get a go at the 88. Eighty. John, you require 88. We'll start on treble 20. Now the 18 segment. Oh, he's missed it completely. Big mistake from John Parts in the opening 14, leg, and it can be very costly 54. in this short, snappy format. Yeah, you've got to get the fundamentals right. Got to get that dart of the ball. How costly will it be? Well, it's catching. Paul Lim can't find the 14 segments, so he's restricting himself to, well, at least one dart. May not get that. He is going to get it. It's, he's just checking. He's a bit hesitant here, Paul Lim. Not a lot of conviction in this 54 finish. 22. No, just never fancy that once he drifted into the nine. Nerves here, understandably, first match of the event. A shuffle across from the Canadian. He and he makes it count. Leg. Excellent John use Park. of the guide there from John Park to like survive a bit of a scare Game in on. the opening leg. His darts in this set and he's held onto them, but not without a bit of trouble. Already, though, John Park be feeling better than he did in the circus time. And he was chasing John Walton. He did get the third set, but he was always chasing the match. Gone. If he can get out in front, it's only one leg, but if you've got the dart, hold throw. And in a blink of an eye, you can have a set on the board in this Masters format. One hundred and three legs set. Great switching from John. Yeah, party deserves... The applause as he gets the party started here at Lakeside. We did see him at the World Seniors Championship loss 100. to the 2000 World Master, John Boy Walton, in the last 16 there. Yeah, that's a dart. John will switch. Yeah, I was going to... That first dart... 57. see John switched around because the first dart was above the treble 19 as well, but... John Park, not being on this stage... Until since 
Thank you. Dr. Roger Carter, but then went over to the PDC and well, we all know what he achieved there. Good dart for part. 80. Yeah, if you're wondering what sort of standard to expect at these seniors' events, those of you who tuned in to the World Championship will be aware that we did see a handful of 90-plus averages. Anything in that region is, is good, isn't it? 80s is about par for the course. 81. And the highest average in that last event was from Kevin Painter. Above 95. We'll see Kevin later on as well. And he'll be up there with one of the favourites for the event. Still got that real competitive hunger, Kevin Painter. When he lost to Robert Thornton in the World Seniors Championship in Perthley, he was gutted. Still got that urge to compete. And be looking forward to seeing Kevin take on David Cameron later on. Yeah, been wondering what he's been doing since he left office. What, Kevin? Oh, it's not that one. No, it's another Canadian, David Cameron. More on that in the next match. Is John, Ricard, John Parr has the chance to bring the house down. It's a perfect first start. Ah, he'd be disappointed with that, John, you can see. He'll know. Great guy for him to work with and doesn't really round off there. Then for the treble 18, but will return to clean sweep set one. And he was peering over the shoulder there of Paul Lim, just checking what he'd got left. John Park ready to... His pocket. 97. John but he's under pressure. 89. Well, he's got to do what he didn't do in the previous leg and make sure he stays in the big segments that will give him a shot of the ball. He's done that. This is for set one. 44. You wanted ball, John. Ball requires 69. In that doubt there. Paul, he's do. Precision is what he wants here. And he's got it. With a lovely treble 15 to leave double 12. 45. Two on the wire. John, you yeah, were 45. Well thrown darts, but John Park for the opening set. Double 16. He won the opening leg. He and he wins the, the set on double 16. John and John Park, second set, his best, leg cleans through that opening set. Game and that's on. how quick it can be. Best of three legs are set. John Park strikes first in this opening match at the World Seniors Darts Masters. The head to heads are never really going to have a bearing in this tournament. Many of their previous meetings were decades ago. In fact, this is their first meeting in 20 years since Park beat Lim in the final of the Blueberry Hill Open in Missouri in 2002. 96. John will probably remember that because he won. He'll probably remember hitting a nine darter against Mark Webster at the 2011 World Match Play, but he didn't win then, did he? I was going to say, I remember the result. Good old party. Uh, John Park played him with won three world finals, didn't he? Beat Bobby George. 57. Beat Phil Taylor. And beat Kirk Shepherd. He could have played his co commentator Wayne Mardle, but he didn't hold up his end of the bargain in his semi final and party cruised to world title number three. 55. Yeah, four majors for John Park, three of them world championships. Almost as good as your record, Mark. 75% as opposed to 100. 85. Yeah, but I'd be inclined to prefer John's record. 81. And that first start... 81. He's, he's hit that a few times now, not really worked of it, and that... When you play John Park, I played him a few times, particularly at the Grand Slam, and I seem to draw him out all the time, and he just... You, you sent it a look away when he was really in top form. If that first dart was just dropping above that bottom wire. 59. 
She'll come down with the last start and is... 99. To once again tease us with the prospects of the biggest finish of them all. Yeah, Paul Lim. 2018, the World Championship in a second round match. Almost hit a nine dart against Gary Anderson. Beat Luke Humphries in the Worlds a couple of years ago as well, so... Still very, very competitive. That's a great set up, though, from John Pass. It wasn't that year, was it? It was that year he beat Mark Webster the round before. You're not talking about that. 120 on offer. For the Singapore slinger. Can he sling one in tops? 100. He's unlucky, but he's had a few John bounds. Newport he's had chances. 36. John Parr for the break early in the second set. It would be all three legs for the Canadian so far. Going the wrong way. No score. Wearing convincing Paul those last two darts. So a chance now for Paul M to get his first leg on the board and hold his throw here. Two tens. And still. And still. Six. Well, <laughs> John, you, you can hear what Paul's reaction to that dart was. That was a flyer. John Park flying. Well, still around that same area. He needs to find the adjustment here. He's, he's not happy because his dart dipped down a bit. He's having to shuffle a bit to the right there. You saw John just shuffle across. Mm, Eight. That's, Six Paul darts Paul now Paul for the leg, yeah. and importantly, it would have been a break, and it was a chance for John to take early control of this opening match. Can he use that as a guide? No, he can't. Ten. John Newcastle, 28. He's appalled him at the moment. Not happy with himself. Scrappy. For John Park. Game show the first leg. Care one bit, and that is now a third consecutive leg, leg for John Park. Game on. Not spectacular from Party, but he's a setup and a break up, and he's in early charge. Man, it's first of four sets, but it sounds a longer format than what it is, Chris. Yeah, it does. And it's starting to look a very long way back for old Limbo. With John Park doing the dancing here. You mentioned John Park doing a nine darter against myself. At 96. Home. He's three darts in here. But importantly, he's opened up with a max. That could, oh, lucky, that could give him a two set lead, and he's well on his way here, John Park. Yeah, excellent stuff from the 55-year-old Canadian. We mentioned all those world championship titles, but this tournament is a, a nod to the old world masters. Never really had success in that. John Park played 10 successive world masters tournaments between 93 and 02. His best was to reach the last 16 twice. Yeah, and that's surprising. That was probably a a stat that John Park would, would be well aware of. 57. He prides himself John on performing on the big stages and hasn't managed to do it at the World Masters, but so far he's doing okay here. We're halfway to the last 16 if double 18 goes in. Or double 9. 78. He will be back. Best leg of the match so far. He's just got to finish it off. There was darts for potential 11 and 12 dart leg, but John Park will return, but Decisions to make. He has missed a few darts of doubles. And Paul Lim just looking to apply a bit of pressure, but for four consecutive legs and a two-set lead, John Park will have three darts at double nine. John, you're part 18. And in it goes. It's excellent stuff from John Park.
He's raced through four successive legs to take the first two. About second set. And halfway. First match of the night. And the winner of this will be in the last match of the night. And sandwiched in between that, we've got Kevin Painter against David Cameron. And Wayne Jones against Roland Shelton. Yeah, nice evenings. Entertainment on offer. And a double dose of darts tomorrow. And again on Sunday, finals day, will be trophy time. Will Robert Thornton add another to the set? The first ever World Seniors champion who picked up the big prize at the Circus Tavern. Great start for John Park. Paul Lim, as Mark said though, can take heart from the fact that he was... First set, first leg, it's John to through first. Game on. Left on doubles in the majority of those legs. Just very hesitant though, wasn't he? We were just talking off air, Chris. I think he was very, a lot more methodical when he was at the business end of a leg than 99. in the middle of it. And John Parr will take a lot of encouragement from the hesitancy from Paul Lim, but you've got to be careful, Paul Lim loses this set and he's on the brink. 139. Yeah, good start, attacking from the off, really important start you feel for Paul Lim just to give himself that extra bit of edge at the start of set three. 99. Yeah, definitely I think he, he needs a comfortable leg doesn't he? He just needs to get ahead of John Park because he's not convinced at the back end and every mistake he made he got punished in those opening two sets. He's a man as they all are a great experience 96. he's played in. 26 World Championships, 12 BDO, 14 PDC. And he has won titles in his 60s, hasn't he, Paul Lim, and the Asian Tour. Those qualifiers you mentioned to get in things like the World Cup. Didn't go well for him at the Circus Tavern. Lost in a prelim to the Badger, Dave Prins. Yeah, but st still so hungry to compete. And, uh, I'm indebted to him as well. Got me a job as a commentator, Paul Lim. But to be fair, that atmosphere when I played that night, they really took to Paul Lim. Paul I'm not just saying it, it was one of the best performances I've seen from him. He averaged at 9.90s. I know you don't believe me, but he did. He averaged, he was, he was unreal. Well, you should know you had a front row seat. Did. Lim. I still wake up in hot sweats hearing that name. Well, it is the hot start that he needed. 134. Excellent switching there to leave himself on double 18 after just a dozen darts. Forty-two. Yeah, and Paul this is just what we said. A leg where he knows that he's got a bit of margin for error on the double. In all likelihood, John is going to find it hard to take out the 142. That's better. On the first leg. Paul Lim. Paul Lim. At the fifth time of asking, has registered an egg on the ball. The and importantly, it was a break of the John Park dart. So, I said at the beginning of this set, it can turn around like that in best of three legs in a set. Paul Lim throwing to half the deficit in terms of set score. And he is the man who hit the best leg at this venue in a world championship. 60. Back in 1990, remains the only player to have hit a nine darter at the Lakeside World Championship. The last 16 went over Jack McKenna. In fact, when he arrived, he was talking to Helen. And he said he hasn't been here since. 16. But he actually played in three more tournaments after that at the Lakeside. I suppose it all just blends into one, doesn't it? The older you get. Does it, Mark? Steady. The amount of darts Paul Lim's played. He's going to have to switch here. Hanging precariously. This is a good response from Paul Lim. Even John. Something to think about for the first time in the match. 100. It's good to see John Park came in to see us earlier, Chris, when they said to him, John, you're supposed to be doing the bull at 6 o'clock. John replied with, what time is it now? It was 5 past 6. Casual John Park, always the way. Yeah, then went and won the bull. 100. Wouldn't have had it if I was Paul Lim. I would have said, nope. He's got to be disqualified. But it was us that were keeping him chatting. There we are. 
Uh, John using that slack you down again there. And the standard's lifting now. Paul Lim just creeping into the 80, 80 averages. John getting up towards 78. We're just checking the score there. 63. Conveyed to him by the ex official Paul Hinks, who's been one of the unsung heroes of this sport over the years. Another one, another two treble visit here, and John, you're feeling he needs another one. 99. Yeah, and Paul again, Paul he's on 142. That's what he's on when Paul was on a finish in the previous leg. Can't finish now. Party will have a pop at the 142. 80. Yeah, good rescue John dart Power from Paul Lim to leave soft, but John Park will start on treble 20 and in all likelihood will stay there if he finds the first one. He can't find us, so he's just going to have to lay up, but Paul has missed a lot of doubles in his match. 78. And again, Paul a good Power rescue dart from John, but Paul Lim for the third set. Not happy. Not happy at all, Paul Lim. 35. John Newcastle, 64. Big chance. And that was to really race away with set three. John Parr. These are the finishes. Well, he's, he's aimed in that region. Treble 16, treble 8. Either one he's will do. That's brilliant. Second leg. And John Jump Parr up. levels up Third the set and the gets press. the throw now to throw for the three set lead. So the revival was short-lived for Paul Lim. He's going to have to find a break. Otherwise, He's going three sets to nil down, and John Parr, as I said, even with that little blip, still looked comfortable, still looked more relaxed than he looked throughout the whole tie against John Walton in Perfleet in February. Yeah, he's a man who enjoys opportunities like that. The eternal darting opportunist, wasn't he, John Park, back in his day? Yeah, he was... 46. He was always there to punish opponents. He had the knack. Then he have taken out those shots we saw, 64. The ones that can sometimes be awkward, but John Park 99. made it look easy in his day, and he made it look easy in that previous leg, and he's on his way to a three-set lead. Yeah, Intercostal's crushed with finishes like that. Now, this leg could be massive. 76. And Paul Lim is... Been far too careless at the back end of legs, and he's been missing. When he missed doubled, when we had that reaction, he missing by a fair way. Really, they weren't convincing. Tops tens and fives, or some wayward ones at tens. But if he can somehow pinch this leg, it's all back on throw. This is a big leg, particularly for Paul Lim. And he knows it. That's why the little team talk. Ninety-seven. All good fun. Yeah, and that you can see, you see Paul. He, he sort of stretched that arm out. You'll see behind John Park Paisley. He'll have that 22. sort of phantom dart throw, but it's not happening. And John Park is in a really comfortable position. Six, possibly nine. A 188 to put himself in a great position and set up that tie with Phil Taylor to conclude the evening. He'll relish that, won't he, as well, John Park? As he'll take centre stage one more time. And he'll look forward to that. Towards the end of his career in the World Championship, he was seeded 32 and had a chance to set up a tie with Phil Taylor. He really Johnny relished Powell, that, and he was under the weather and lost to Pearl Larson. So we'd love a crack at Phil Taylor here tonight on the lakeside stage. You'll have a crack at the ball. 105. Paul Newcastle. Wasn't far away from it. Probabilities say he shouldn't have gone for it. Has to waste a dart when he comes back to leave a double. 
Yeah, this is in the balance now. And we saw John Park deviate from the big segment John earlier on in the match when he needed an 18 for ball. It'll be a nine. Got that part done. And he in gets that part done. Set. And it is John Park. John that is three sets to nil up. He's Four one set, set away from first. booking a place in the Game next on. round. And uh, we just got a slight glimpse of two of our other competitors in this event. Trina Gulliver, Lisa Ashton, they'll be in action throughout the weekend. Yeah, Trina Gulliver, the competitor with the w most Wonder World Red. Masters titles to her name. Ninety-seven. Well, it might well be four-nil to John Park this match. He won't tell the story of the match. One hundred. But he's done what John Park used to do. Demonic doubling in the last couple of legs from Party. Taking out that that 64 and then sneaking it into the bottom of the double eight. He's looked comfortable, John. Like I said, he had that said that little wobble, the one leg, the poor limb one, but set play, leg play, it all looks good in favour of John Park. He's just got to finish the job. Doesn't want to get embroiled here. Get this done, particularly knowing that he's got another game tonight. If he wins, 96. no rest. So if he can get it done in the, the minimum amount of time, be a real good start to the event for John. He had a 13 darter to win the 105. second set, completing the run of four on the spin. Lim responded with a 14 to get his first on the board, but then Park 45. has won the last two. Paul Rupal, 100. And Paul Lim really needs to put himself in the position here. He's got a great chance to get the first leg of set four. Game yeah, show the first leg. Best leg of the match for Paul Lim. And Second it's a set that he, he has to win. Game particularly on. on his darts. Comeback's got to start somewhere. And it never goes to pattern, but he only needs one break of throw and he can level 99. the match at three sets. It, it never goes like that, but that's how he's got to break it down. Has to win this set, make his move in the next set, and just try and make John Park have a few doubts because at the minute John Park will be fairly relaxed with the situation. 60. There's so much jeopardy in this format, isn't there? And we've seen it play out in this match. 99. Many more modern darts tournaments. In set play, it's first to three. And it makes a big difference, doesn't it? It does, because you win that opening leg, you, you're got a bit of bounce, you know you're almost there. You lose that opening leg, you, I've almost lost the first set, and it's literally does turn the game on one leg. 127. Uh, brilliant recovery from John Park. Came down the bottom of the board, hoping for the 19 segment to leave on a finish, but good tidy on the couple of treble 20s. They're uh, just keeping up the heat. 123. Good response from Paul, but John Park wins this leg. He's a leg away from the match. And all the pressure will be on Lim. 97. Speaking of limbs. Well, Park's got the opportunity to get to that position. To leave Paul Lim standing directly over the trap door. 99, John requires 79. John to go one away. And he's been pretty neat and tidy at the back end of the legs. He that is very neat and tidy. Leg. And that is John Park, one leg away. Third Over to you, Paul first. Lim. Game on. He knows. It's a massive leg, but the opening visit 
Will it offer encouragement for John Park to get the job done here? Got to find at least one treble, you feel. Well, the nice two darters in this match have been excellent from John Park. He's taken out 48, 45, 64, 25, and then that 79. And that was just a no-nonsense 79, wasn't it? 81. John Powell expected another treble after the way that one landed in the treble 20, but can Paul Lim respond? A quick reminder following this, Kevin Painter against David Cameron. 81. What a performance Painter put in at the Circus Tavern to send the power packing. Will we see a different Phil Taylor tonight and this weekend, Mark? Well, yeah, definitely. He, he will be better. He's been practicing. I played an exhibition with him last week. He looked a lot better. He's a lot more confident. Said he'd been practicing. Admitted to me as well that he was nervous in Perfley. He was edgy against Peter Manley in the game he won, but was outplayed by Kevin. And I think particularly getting beat so easily by Kevin Painter will hurt him. But no, credit fine. Kevin. He was one of the stories of the tournament. Obviously, Robert Thorns on the side. I thought Kevin was excellent. Yeah, well, he might well look at the scoreline, assuming Party goes on to win this leg and see that John Part has won 4-0. But if he's watched the match, you have to say not too much to make him nervous. No, but he know all too well that he drops his level. And this is about the level Phil was playing at in the low 80s, so he won't take anything for granted. And it's not John Part yet. 41. It's been a case of John Park making the most of Paul Lim's mistakes, but Paul Lim not on. doing the same to John Park. Yeah, definitely. Paul Lim far too hesitant at the back end of legs, too many wayward darts, and particularly at doubles as well. And see, that's a perfect first dart. Can he work with it? And again, that's a flyer. 99. But still, you'd say just about makes in favour of the leg. All about this visit. If John can get a two trouble visit, then Lim's really under it. Just to make sure he leaves something check out of all. It would be a, a wonderful way to win the match. And he will get a go. For some fireworks. 41. Ah. Johnny McCarr, 164. Not just in the treble, but he's drifted in to the one. Will only get one dart minimum at a double if he returns. What a way to finish the job this would be. John Park for the match. Yay, and Park has pinned it. The match. John Park. Magical from John Park. An incredible 1-6-4.